Hello everybody, it's Ultimate Iron Man Armadale here again. Today, let's look at Kefri. Today, I actually want to focus on Kefri's Dawn ability because that is the most interesting mechanics in this boss. Because otherwise, it's just dodge fireballs and attack. Okay, let's freeze the frame here and talk about the Dawn attack. For any new players, you can predict when you are about to get Dawn Dawn and you will see these swarms of flies fly around you. Zoom in right now and just look carefully. Having the flies swarm around you signals that you are about to get down attack, which means you will get pushed towards the wall and down will come down towards you. If you don't move out of the way when the down hits you, you will take some damage. Down stays in the arena permanently and they cannot be dissipated. And if you run out of space to attack carefree, well, too bad, you're probably gonna lose soon. <laughs> you can see here, my partner is completely trapped and all he can do is range and you are not gonna do much damage when you're ranging carefree. You can actually stack the Dawn. What, what that means is if you stand on a diagonal corner, like here, and there's already a Dawn in existence, then the next Dawn will actually stack on top of the original Dawn. The most common stacking is diagonal, but there is a better one, and I'm gonna show you right now. Let's go back to our original clip. Start by standing here when you're about to get Dawn attacked, which will create the first horizontal Dawn. And then when the next Dawn comes, watch where I go. I'm gonna to go to the far edge of the corner, right there, which will stack the down only on that one tile. You see that? And then the next time you go, you wanna just go one tile to the right of that, which will only stack another single down tile. Watch the melee there. That's gonna be important coming up. After the first Scarab ad spawns, you want to create another horizontal down to trap the center there. And the reason for that is because the second melee will always spawn inside of that those dongs and can always be trapped. For demonstration purposes, watch. The melee is now trapped, you want to kill the major and then the ranger and you go back to Kefri. Now what happens if you do mess up and get trapped like me here? Well, there is a way to get out. If you are completely trapped and there is nowhere else to go for the dong, it will actually push you out. Watch, I trapped myself completely in this one square right here. I can't move. I'm actually completely trapped. I'll take fireball damage. And I thought I was gonna lose here, but Kefri did another Dawn attack, which, watch this, pushes me out. And I get to walk over the Dawn. I should also mention that when doing the horizontal stacking, you should stop stacking horizontally and on the third Dawn, and you should go back to the edge again. I did not do this because I tried to stack the force down, which made Carefree do a little, a little weird angle. Now it's, now it's pretty much diagonal. It's okay, this is already the end phase. And I should mention that at the very last phase, Carefree will spawn down very fast, almost every third attack or so. And even in this state, you can still get more diagonal stacks. Basically, the idea is you just want to run farther to the edge uh, to create more stacks. And that's it guys. I hope you learned something today about Kefri's Dawn attacks. Uh, when you're in a duel, you definitely want to do it this way, where um, one person will stack on one side and the other person will stack in the other side. That way, you, you both of you have plenty of room to uh, get Dawn stacking. Yep. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you found this useful. Uh, and keep an eye out for new content. Bye guys.